I'd like to say good morning to everyone that's here under the sound of my voice for you that are watching by way of YouTube. I want to continue with a lesson. I need you to really listen to this lesson and be focused and get into the spirit because this is going to help you. Mm -hmm. We're living in some different times, y'all. And God going to protect his children and even those that sit on doing the right thing because when you do right, Righteousness is of God. Mm -hmm. Righteousness comes only from God. Right. Satan cannot be righteous because he is the father of lies, the Bible say. According to John chapter 8, Satan invented the lie. He is the father of lies. You got people that lie, but can't nobody lie Satan. Yeah. And he was a murderer, the Bible say, according to John chapter 8, from the beginning. Yeah. And so if you're doing good, only good can come from God. The Bible says good comes from above and God is the father of light. But I want to talk from a lesson that I started on last week called the virtue of the night spirit of the Holy Spirit. The virtue of the night fruit of the spirit which comes from the Holy Spirit. And you can only get these fruits if you save. Yes, you can be a good person. You can do good deeds, but that doesn't make you saved. The nine fruits of the Holy Spirit come from when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or you be baptized, and you repent of your former life, and you live holy, and you live unto God. That don't mean you ain't going to make no mistakes. I don't know why people think Christians are perfect people. We not. Amen. We human. Amen. But we have a godly sorrow when we do wrong. We do wrong and hurt our feelings because we know we hurt God. Amen. But when you can do stuff without a conscience, you're on a downward spiral. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I want to talk about lesson number two on the virtue of the night fruit of the spirit. And that is temperance. But I want to, I, for, if you didn't watch last week, I want to go ahead and name them all. But the one I want to focus on is temperance. You know, you people say the world need, need more love. We don't need more love. Amen. There's a lot of loving people getting killed. Amen. There's a lot of people that's doing good and still being slaughtered. Amen. We don't need more loving people, although love is a good place to start and love is the greatest fruit of all the spirit. But in these days we live in, we need people with more self-control because we going off for nothing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We, a life don't mean nothing no more. You get more time if you kill an American eagle than if you kill a person. Yeah. Amen. Something is upside down in our Amen. society. Amen. So the nine fruits of the spirit that one can receive when they receive Jesus Christ or be baptized. The first one is love. Number two is joy. Three is peace. Number four is long suffering. But that word long suffering means that when bad things come in my life, I don't commit suicide. I don't become uh, addicted to drugs or alcohol because I'm going through something. I be I have the ability to deal with it. That's what long suffering means. I'm patient in tribulation. I'm patient when horrific things come away. I don't give out. I give in Amen. unto God. Amen. The fifth one is gentleness. Number six is goodness. Number seven is faith. Number eight is meekness. And the ninth one is temperance, which I feel that that's what the Lord gave me. We need more people with self-control. Amen. That can control themselves. That's yeah. right. That's we going off the hook for everything now. Amen. Amen. Everything upset us. And we hurting people, innocent people. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to reread the scripture because this is lesson number two. But for homework, you can read Proverbs 16.32. It talks about a person that ruling his spirit is greater than a person that take a seat in. Amen. When you can control your own spirit, mm -hmm. you greater than Rambo on the outside of God. Amen. Amen. When you can control your own spirit, you better than a person that can take a seat alone. Mm -hmm. right. You better than Rambo. That's and right. James, verse 19, verse 1, chapter 1, verse 19 and 20 say, Be quick to hear and slow to speak and slow to wrath. Mm -hmm. For when we do things out of anger, God is not in it. When you get angry and you react out of anger, there's nothing spiritual coming out of that. Yeah. Amen. 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 And so we gave some illustrations on last week, and I'm going to say some things I said on last week to get you up to where we are today. So I'm not going to go over everything, but I'm going to go over most of the things I said. We need more self-control in our society. This alone will reshape our world. We are out of control, 
and that is considered normal outside the intervention by the works of the Holy Spirit. When people not saved, that's just normal for them to go off the hook. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's why we're talking about the ninth fruit of the Spirit, which means self-control. You can't control yourself without God's help. On some matters, you can. Don't get me wrong. But when the Holy Spirit restrains you, it keeps you from breaking the law and breaking the commandments. Mm -hmm. People don't have no reverence for the law of the land because they now have no respect for the commandments which come from God. And most of our laws are based on the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So we need more people with self-control. You ever notice you don't have to teach kids how to lie or rebel? We got to teach kids how to what? Love. Right. Or tell them that should be loving. That's right. And the only way they can truly love is what? Getting love from God because the Bible says God is what? Love. love. On last week we discovered, we discovered in the New York Post a man was shot in the neck at McDonald's by a 20 year old suspect. He was shot in the neck because a man served him some cold french fries. Mm -hmm. And the employee to this day is still on life support. He brain dead because a man got mad at him for selling him some cold french fries and shot him in the neck. Mm -hmm. We are out of control. Amen. That happened on August the 4th, Amen. 2022. Our patients are running short. These are some things I discussed on last week. Is road rage becoming an epidemic? We lose the control. Over parking spots, y'all. Over parking spots. Mm -hmm. I think really a lot of this is going on because people just want to put it on social media. Because when we was growing up, you ain't hear nothing like that. Amen. 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 You shooting at somebody because they cut in your lane. Broken track is a broken traffic light. People going ballistic. Mm -hmm. The light just broke. It's okay. We get upset because a real car is on the railroad track. Mm -hmm. Traffic jam. We going off. Is road rage becoming an epidemic? Texas, Florida, and California is leading the way. They did a survey in Texas on the last five years. Texas was leading the way in road rage incidents. Amen. Domestic violence. increased 40% in Harris County. They did a survey from 2019 to 2020 just to see family violence on the rise in Texas, mm -hmm. up by 80%. More than half of these committed offenses involved a gun. Mm -hmm. HPD stated strangulations increased 130% in the first year of the pandemic. We choking each other to death. Mm -hmm. This family members, now we ain't talking about strangers. It increased 130%. Mm -hmm. We need to get a handle on this ASAP. Y'all know what I said last week, Black Friday around the corner. Amen. Amen. Somebody gonna get choked over a flat screen. Amen. The security guard gonna get ran over when he open them doors. If he don't move out the way. Amen. We laughing, but it's serious. Amen. We need no more people with self-control. Look to your neighbor and say, just a TV. Y'all going to tear it up. Ain't nobody going to be able to take it on because y'all shoving it. Amen. Black Friday, you know, after after Thanksgiving, they say, that's when the sales go off. Mm -hmm. Amazon already sent a text to my email saying, Prime members get the first pick. Mm -hmm. Don't lose control. Amen. Look out for them Porsche pirates. Amen. They're out of control. They're taking people's luggage. Amen. They're taking people's packages off the porch. That's right. Amen. I saw on YouTube last night a lady was so mad that they keep stealing. They stole everybody. It's the same people stealing their package mm -hmm. in the community. She said, I'm going to fix them. She put all her baby, baby dirty diapers and fixed it like an Amazon box and they stole it. <laughs> and they got mad and came back. Look at Google it. They got mad and came back and threw horse boo boo all over her front porch. Now you mad at me for stealing my package because I put my baby dirty diapers in there. You come back and throw horse manure all on my front porch. We out of control. No one needs to die 
because we don't share the same viewpoints. These some things I said on last week. Look to next say he ain't gonna be long, he ain't gonna be long. Cause y'all know, I, I can shut this sermon off y'all. Y'all know we out of control. Y'all probably know some stuff that happened that's more crazy than what I'm naming. Amen. Amen. No one needs to die because we don't share the same viewpoints on different things such as politics. So what? If you don't agree with our agree on politics, we still can be friends and we still can go out to eat. Nobody need to get shot because we don't agree on politics. And probably what we both heard was from the news media on YouTube or social media anyway. Mm -hmm. yep. But we ain't went, I ain't went to, I'll be honest, Brother Dixon, I ain't went to college and studied no law. Yep. So whatever I learned, I learned it off Google. Mm -hmm. Or somebody told me, I heard somebody say it. I ain't went to law school, so why I'm arguing about stuff? That's right. Now there are some laws I learned because I'm a citizen here, but other than that, I don't What's, what's the international laws and what I'm supposed to do? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do when I get to that point unless they tell me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. We all get over stupid stuff. Animal rights, uh -huh. religion, human rights. Whatever you do in your bedroom, your business. I can care less. That's right. Amen. Why are you disagreeing with me and want to shoot me and run over me in a car and, and beat me up because I don't. Choose to live the way you live. That's your business. That's between whatever you do in your room is between you and your heavenly father. Not in none of my business. That's right. Amen. 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 But unfortunately, someone will get killed, hurt, or beat because some kind of way we found a way to minimize life mm -hmm. to meaning nothing these days. Life don't mean nothing. That's right. Amen. Amen. Look to the next thing. You on lesson number two now? Lesson number two now. I told you I wasn't going to be long because I want to conclude this. Because y'all know what I'm saying. I like when I preach the truth cause that you can relate to because you know you see the same thing I see. Amen. I'm just trying to share with you a biblical perspective. Don't get caught up in all it. Ain't all that shit. Let them cut you off. Let them skip. Let them get the part of the spot even though you had your signal. It ain't worth it. Amen. Once you get in that judicial system, it ain't worth it. Amen. Amen? Amen. Now the most recent thing that happened recently, a woman was going to work in New York. She was on the subway. She got off the subway. She's an employee at JFK Airport. A man tried to flirt with her. She was a married woman, and she refused his advantages. He bust her clothes over the head with a bottle. She took off running. He chased her. You can look at this on video on YouTube. He slammed her into the wall. Hit her about five or six times in the face. Her right eye is damaged so bad they don't, the doctors don't think she's going to be able to see out of it. Then he kicked in the head five times. A homeless man. But homeless just mean he don't have nowhere to lay at night. But he was dressed nice and everything. He didn't look homeless. Amen. This same man, when he did this to this woman, he was on probation. When he was 14 years old, he killed his 81-year-old grandmother. Six years later, he stabbed his 21-year-old sister with a screwdriver. We out of control. You can call it mental health. You can call it whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But I'm a preacher, so I'm going to say, say it's the devil. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, cause I'm, listen, I'm a man of God. Mm -hmm. And I've been baptized, and I believe I'm saved. But I got some mental health issues too, depending which button you push. Yeah. Yeah. So we can all say we crazy. It depends which you which button you push. Preach, Pastor. Preach. What I'm trying to say is we live in a world where you need to be prayerful and watchful. People are out of control. We need more spirit with temperance, the fruit of the spirit, which is self-control. Amen. 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 That's all I'm saying. I'm not using this tragedy that happened to this woman. I'm praying for her and her husband. But it's a reality. This is how the people are living today. Mm -hmm. She did the right thing by saying, no, I'm married, sir. Mm -hmm. And he just beat her crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was out on probation when he done that for assaulting people. Listen, let me share what happened to Brother Moses. Moses missed the promised land. Because he couldn't control his anger at the proper moment. Mm -hmm. Moses was the meekest man in the world during his time on earth. But he was not allowed to enter the promised land because he could not control his anger and his frustration after having constantly have to deal 
with a complaining congregation of people and God did not excuse his lack of control because of all the good he done. Yeah. Now, the scriptures are too long for me to read them to you for time's sake, but I want to, for homework, I want to just read Numbers chapter 11 and Numbers chapter 20. So you want me to read Numbers chapter 11 and Numbers chapter 20 for homework. I'm explaining you what's going on. In Numbers chapter 11, the people was complaining to Moses, as they always done since God had delivered them from Egypt of being in slavery for 400 years. They was on their way to the promised land, and they was complaining to Moses and Aaron that they didn't have no meat to eat. And so Moses got tired of them complaining, and him and Aaron went in privacy in the tent and fell on their face and started crying to God about the people. And God was listening to what they were saying and Moses' complaint was this, God, what have I done to cause you to put all this burden of this people on me? He said, Did, are these people my children? Did I give birth to these people? Why do you deal with me so frustrating? Kill me, Lord, let me die because I'd rather be dead than let these people drive me to bitterness. Amen. I'd rather be dead because I can't take it no more. Amen. That's Numbers chapter 11, what he was saying to God. And God said, Moses, anoint 70 people that got your heart and bring them to me. And I'm going to take the spirit that's on you and put on them, and they're going to help you deal with these people, Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Numbers 20. The people complained again. This time they was complaining that they didn't have no water to drink. And God said, Moses, you and Aaron go out there. And Moses, I want you to speak to the rock. And it shall give them water to drink. But Moses was so upset already. Now he was on his, and his destiny was to lead them to the promised land. I'm trying to show you that we need to get our self-control in check. Because it caused Moses to miss the promised land. By this time, Moses had had enough. And he talked to the people in this manner. He said, must we fetch you water out of this rock, ye rebels? He called them rebels. Mm -hmm. And instead of speaking to the rock, number 20, Moses hit the rock twice. That's right. And because he made it seem like God was mad at them, when it was he that was mad at them. That's right. And God said, Moses, because you did not sanctify me in the presence of the people, you should not enter the promised land. And he was speaking to Moses and Aaron. Now what does it mean to sanctify God? Moses, you didn't give me the authority and the glory that I deserve because if you were to speak to the rock, it would have gave them the water and then I would have continued to get the glory to know that I was working through you, Moses. But when you hit the rock, you made the people seem like I was mad but really you was the one that was frustrated. Amen, that's right. And so, guess what? Moses didn't get to go on the promised land because he couldn't control himself when God asked him to just speak to the rock. And you said, well, man, I don't know why he do something stupid like that. All he had to do was speak to the rock, but look to your neighbor and say, but he was at his breaking point. He was at his breaking point. He had had enough. You ain't never just had enough of something? Amen. You ain't just had enough of a person, a situation, a place, a whole car. I had a car that had cut off on me for the last time. Amen. Coming home with my grocery from Walmart and cut off on me on the freeway, brother Dixon. Yeah. In the curve on 610s. I'm glad I was in that curve, though. Mm -hmm. And I had my music going. I was giving it gas and it was slowing. I said, wait, hey, what do you mean? I load the music. I said, what is it called? I had to call my friend in Barris. Came with a Teflon rope and pulled me home. The police passed by and told him, get off that freeway like that. Made us exit on Homestead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say I can't take no more with no lemon car. Amen. Amen. And so Aaron didn't get to go on the promised land either. Because guess what? He died before they got there. Yeah. And Moses, the Lord told him, go ahead and it's time for you to come home too. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and anoint Joshua and he shall carry the people. Mm -hmm. Because I remember what you did. You 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 can't control yourself, Moses. That's right. Now you still my friend, you going to heaven. Because the devil fought over the angel for the body of Moses. Read it. The devil wanted Moses' body because he's going to try to resurrect that body. The scripture don't say that. I'm just imagining what he, but the scripture do say the angel fought 
with the devil for the body of Moses. But the devil probably wanted to get that body. You know what damage he was going to do if he got that body. Oh, yeah. Amen. So don't let you miss out on your blessing because God had to stop your blessing to discipline you. Amen. That's the moral of the story. And Moses was the meekest man in the world and during his time. There was not a more humble person in the world in the days of Moses. And that word meek means a person that humbles himself, that walks in humility before God, not people now. Amen. People love when you don't say nothing, but we weren't talking about that. He was meek before God, but he reverenced people, and he had respect for people's property mm -hmm. and people's possessions. Amen? Amen. The virtue of the night fruit of the Spirit. Let's pray for our world and our neighbors and our society that people will get it together. That we need more people, Lord, with self control in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise in Jesus' name. I hope something was said that can occur.